I can't believe it. I mean, how could this be possible? Her real personality is the main one? <laughs> Realistic. Get a divorce. the abuse I mean really love someone there is nothing that can stop you from wanting to be with them except for decades of abuse verbal mental possibly physical abuse as you seem like a glutton for punishment Urgh, slam blocker harder is broken. It probably is now. What? Nothing. Listen, I need to tell you something. Go ahead, I'm listening. Uh. Yay. Whatever. Are you okay? Uh, it's Alex. It's stupid Alex, and I can't talk to him about being upset because it would offend him or something. It's okay. It'll be okay. Oh my god, enough! Uh, it's not all about me, it's... What... What did you want to tell me, George? I'm gonna go with nothing because I'm not interested in his bad joke. Nothing. Urgh, look at that face. Mm. Nothing. It's not important. I have something that will cheer you up. Eventually, surgeons learn that being open to the unexpected is not so hard. A paracentesis? You're awesome! A what? <gasps> oh boy, I get to chop somebody up! Smear the goop. Once again, I'm not sure I'm cut out for this knob turning thing. Have to rub full area again? My goodness. Thanks for your help. You didn't need my help.
What was up with his face? Dr. Bailey? I'm busy looking for my baby, Karev. Have you seen Dr. Gray? Uh, Lexi Gray. I don't know, Karev. Try the pit. That's where an intern should be. This is most definitely not surgery. <laughs> Dr. Karev. Ah, oh, man. His wife ran over the foot when she heard I let you cut off my wedding ring. You are the worst doctor ever. I get sick. I don't want to go to this hospital. Need some help? No, thank you. What exactly don't you need my help with? Mr. Henderson is having strange complications. I must have missed something, but I can't figure out what. <sighs> no, I don't need your help. I can't figure this out. I'm a doctor! Ugh. Boy, how could you have not seen this? I don't see it. There it is, right there. <laughs> yeah, right there. Whatever. Okay. He's developing psychic powers with the help of Zeus, and with his swirly magic, he causes a heat wave. Alright. Zeus gives him psychic powers to cause a heat wave with swirly magic. Neuralgia. Trigeminal neuralgia. The part of the tumor that couldn't be removed is compressing the trigeminal nerve. Can you fix it? Probably not, but I'm certainly going to try. Thanks. What's up with this music? Sorry, I haven't been totally committed to you. I'm working on it, but I need you to meet me halfway. What are the rules of meeting halfway? I don't know all the rules, but the first rule is that you can't share information that may affect my best friend's career and expect me not to say anything. Fair enough. Rule number two. You can't go tell your friend said information without getting the whole story. Agreed? Uh, 
That's he's handshaking, so we are going to handshake. Oh, give me a break. Eh, get this nasty stuff out of the way. You prepare as you go. Rule number three. We go back to my plane. Uh, the deal. I like that rule. Be cold. We plan for things best left untalked about anyway. Whatever. You have no control over this. Can I just operate without a frickin' minigame? I wanna play a doctor game now. I suck at them, but I wanna play one. Because this is not one. Now or never? Why are you here? Didn't see any boob jobs on the board. Well, which one looks cooler? Let's go. Flashing darkness. I'm just going to close my eyes and click randomly. Apparently we've been thinking of her mind. Mostly about that total aortic arch replacement you did under deep hypothermic circulatory arrest. Heard that line before. What a drink tonight. Fine, but it's not a date. And you're paying. Then it is a date. Okay, it's a date. When I'm on a date, I don't let people pay. She wants me. Self-centered son of a gun. I got it! The Davidson Fellowship, even with Mick Crappy's review! I got... Congratulations. You, me, bottle of apple cider. Apple cider. Tempting. I'm back on in four hours. I can't. I'm sorry. I have plans. Yeah, she has to totally ditch him for me. What? I need to pressure her? Really? Immaturity, ahoy! You can't like anybody except me. I'm your only friend. And I will make sure of it! Celebrating alone? That's pathetic. It's fine. Get sidered up. We'll catch up later. It's fine? It's fine. Congratulations, Dr. Yang. You have been chosen as this year's Davidson Fellow. Blah, blah, blah. Please note that you must have not contracted any infectious diseases within the last two years to participate. Last two years? Good thing you didn't sleep with Alex or George. Okay, ooh. Isn't that the scrub nurse from the pit? It's cute. <laughs> that was tough. He's been stalking me all day. He even pulled some strings and got my letter. If you're lucky, someone will prepare for you. Oh. What? What a... Uh, uh, whatever. Nobody cares. Okay, fine. Maybe there's an O. 
about Hans Humpty today. Right. Hey there. I figured you'd be out celebrating. What? 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 Don't shut the door. Oh my god. Do not go to this hospital unless you have an ultraviolet light for the beds. <laughs> Why are we cutting away this guy? No, I don't care if you're a patient. Get out. You aren't allowed to have any attention. I have to focus only on my other doctors. If you're not so lucky, your wooden baby is fine. Instead of you, mommy missed you. Yes, she did. Let's uh let her sleep, shall we? That way she'll think somebody kidnapped the baby. Stay quiet. Is he sleeping? Because she's lucky. I'm ten minutes away from a hot bath. But it's bad. I mean, it could... Avoid. Avoid this guy. He doesn't need any attention. Boy, that was hard. The sputum sample from Mr. Paulson, it's not mucus. It's pseudomembrane, plus his neck is swelling. But there will be some times. Okay. He's tired, and he has developed the power to control winter, which he is using the powers of winter to lay siege to Canada okay tired winter powers using ice to siege Canada gotcha I don't think it's gonna work very well tired attacking Canada with winter powers and ice I'm pretty sure they're used to ice you should have developed fire powers Diphtheria. So we... Uh, that's bad. What a uh, crap! Wouldn't the baby have woken up? Duh. I'm just gonna rock out. Duh, duh, duh. Duh, duh, duh. to Mr. Paulson's room. Don't let anyone near that man. I'll tell the chief we have a highly infectious disease on our hands. When he threw up, is there a chance that Tuck is... When all the preparation in the world... There's a chance we're all infected. Just isn't enough. Oh, no! Don't worry, your baby's made of wood. It's okay. Seriously, that thing has no animation at all. It's... Oh boy, we're on episode two. You know how many episodes there are, guys? In med school, Five. In order to become truly great surgeons, we must be dedicated. A hospital emergency has been declared. We have a patient with diphtheria, which as you know is very contagious. I'm in contact with the CDC to get antitoxin so that we can treat the patient who has been infected. The CDC will also be bringing vaccine so that we can immunize all those who have not been infected yet. We could
currently have a very small supply of the vaccine here at the hospital. Chief, I have four surgeries today that will require that vaccine. I need some set aside. Same here, Chief. I need at least five vaccinations for my surgeries. Those with weaker immune systems and children should come first. Uh. Anger. Shouldn't we stay calm? No, we're, we're, we're just gonna get r r enraged. Come on. Why is this one flashing? Let the rage fill you. Listen up, people. The nurses have gone through the charts and assigned a priority level and a corresponding colored flag to each patient. You will be sent out in pairs to complete the vaccinations. Take your submachine gun. What? <laughs> your assignments are as follows. Dr. Stevens and Dr. Lexi Gray, you'll take care of the red level. Patients with open or contaminated wounds. if I send them off in the wrong direction. <laughs> Whoops! Took a wrong turn! <laughs> oh, fine. This guy has a huge arm. Doctors Han and O'Malley, take care of the orange level. Patients who have received less than three doses of the vaccine. Okay. What is that? What is that supposed to be? Run into it. It's like some really needy patient or something. Stab, 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 stab them all. Hey, it's that same arm, except it's been color shifted. What's wrong with your arm, dude? It's curved. Dr. Sloan and Gray, head up to maternity. No, wait. <laughs> Just go back where you were. We got lost! again. We only have five drawings of arms. We'll just have to change the colors. <laughs> <laughs> 